Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to wherever you are around the world. Hope everyone's having a good day. Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5 for another car pass customization. Today is the 1966 Jaguar XJ13. Another Jaguar, double in a row, but I've got to say this is a looker. So, another customization which we're going to go through. Um, there's no presets or body kits, and as usual, let's look at the conversion. And you've got a racing V12 there. Our drivetrain, we have all wheel, uh, by default, it's a rear wheel drive. And aspiration, we've got a twin turbo there. So let's see what you can do for minimum upgrades to be able to just tune this thing. So, air and performance, you've got a front bumper. Now I am doing this at night time, so it's a little bit hard to kind of tell that front bumper at the moment. But uh, we'll see. Um, yeah, so that'll be front bumper. And then we've got a very, again, a very subtle one. Oh yeah, it is there. It is there, uh, that rear bumper. We don't need to do tyres. We need to do... You don't have to do clutch. It's not part of it. But we'll do transmission. We'll do a differential race diff, because this will be a race car again. We'll go into brakes. We need brakes, we need the suspension. Um, yeah, we'll use that suspension. And yeah, that's all the tuning options that you will have. It's really useful. Um, so that's put you up to basically an A-class still. Um, and now we'll, I'm just going to go through, start with the tyres, and um, see how far we can go with those upgrades now as we normally do. So make the track width wider. It's going to remember what ones I haven't exactly done. Did transmission. Did diff. Um, yeah, just double checking. We'll do, yeah, we'll do that reinforcement. And now engine. Engine, engine. So, oil and cooling ish. Wait, is there no. Usually I do it. A kind of engine kind of preview with the exhausts as well. But there doesn't seem to be those options. So there is a bit of a preview just before I put the upgrades on, just so you can kind of hear that. Um, yeah. Usually there's an exhaust option or, or whatnot, and that's what it sounds like afterwards. You can make your own opinions how different that is, whether you whatever you prefer. Um, I usually go all the way without changing anything, but I like doing all-wheel drive. As I've said before, it's basically OP. Um, yeah. And it kind of stabilizes the car a lot, especially if you put a bit of power in. Yeah, race diff. That's fine. That's fine. We can install that. It's up to 500 odds. We're a lot heavier. But we're now an S1 class. And we're decently in that S1 class, as you can see. Obviously, if you wanted to be a maximum S1 class, you wanted it to max out in that class, you'd have to go V12 or bring in the twin turbo into that. So let's see what this thing kind of sounds like. Out in the open. Bear in mind I haven't actually driven it yet uh, beforehand, so I don't know what the, the actual difference would have been. Um, so we'll just go and see. I usually go right. Shall we go left this time? Split it up a little bit and see how this thing can perform. Let's check it. it is it does look nice, doesn't it? 
for those people that want this build specifically, the uh, share code is going to appear on screen right now, which is 557-6420-69. Um, it will apply the upgrades. Um, you can tune it yourselves because um, this build won't have any tuning on it, which is fine because you can basically break the tuning. It will say it's locked and you can unlock it, but the upgrades do um, keep on. They don't They don't get removed, which is good. So, so far, yeah, it's a, a lot like the, the Jaguar we did in the last video. Um, it's very stable. That's obviously down to the, the um, all-wheel drive that we put on as well. Um, you might get some kind of oversteer, I think. Um, yeah. Do I mean oversteer? No, I don't. I mean understeer. I mean understeer. So, you know, it's good. It's it's solid, high speed. And this thing does look damn nice. And sounds damn nice as well. I'm not going to take this thing off-road, obviously, because it's a race car. And you wouldn't take this thing off-road. Whatsoever. So yeah, it's pretty solid for for an S1 class. It's got the speed. It's got the the kind of handling. You know, I'm able to turn it fully and be able to go around a, a relatively okay corner. Nothing too tight, obviously. Um, but yeah, here's a bit of a, an interior kind of shot, and that's the customization of the Jaguar XJ13. Next video isn't going to be a Jag, sadly. It's not breaking the Jag streak. So that's customization, a bit of preview of what it kind of is, and obviously the share code is on screen. And that is going to do it for today. If you enjoyed this video and like to see more content like this one, make sure you are subscribed. Discord link is in the description below. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Take care.